This is week seven of the winter trimester. For the figure session, I spent Monday finishing up my transfer drawing, making sure that I had a really strong gesture. And then on Tuesday, I transferred the image onto the canvas. And how I do that transfer is I have my drawing and I take tracing paper and I put it over the drawing and then I take a sharpie and I trace out the basic outlines that make up the gesture. Then I take the tracing paper off and I flip it and on the reverse side I take a mixture of ivory black and raw umber and I trace over the sharpie lines. And then I take that tracing paper and I put it on my toned canvas and I tape up the tracing paper and then with a ballpoint pen, I again, I trace over those Sharpie lines. And so the ballpoint pen is pressing in a very thin line of paint wherever I'm tracing over. So then the basic image is on the canvas and I just spend the rest of the time really trying to make everything as accurate as possible with the structure, gesture, and proportion. And so this first week, um, I'm really focused on just the getting a really good structure, really good foundation for this to build on later. So I'm trying to keep everything really, really, really simple. So as far as value goes, um, I just have the brightest area being the chest and that arm that's out. And the rest of the body, like the stomach and the face, it's mostly just the, um, the tone of the canvas because that's a mid-tone. And then I put on her legs uh, some darker tone for paint just so you get that basic gradient shift down so it's showing the brightest area as it goes down to darker. And then as far as temperature goes, also keeping that really really simple right now, the background is a lot cooler than the figure so the background is um, like a gray with uh, black white. I think I do have a little bit of raw umber in it and then the figure is just mixtures of white and raw umber so the figure is really warm and the background is really cool. And in a figure painting or drawing, something that I really like to pay attention to is the weight of the figure. The literal weight of the body with gravity pushing down on it and the figure having to balance herself to support her mass. And I think a lot of beginners um, maybe don't know to watch out for this or don't pay attention to it. And if you're not focusing on trying to get weight in the figure, the figure can start looking floaty or like they don't have balance. And really the key to finding weight in a figure is looking for the tension in the body. There's going to be a lot of tension in the ankles, especially in the standing leg. And in the relaxed leg, even though it's the relaxed leg, um, usually the figure is going to shift a little bit of weight on the relaxed leg, so there should be a little bit of tension. Because if they keep all of their weight on the standing leg, it's going to get painful. So you can kind of see the balance in between the two. And then also in this one, there's also tension in that arm that's extended more, that's opposite of the hip that's really pushing out. Because uh, if she didn't have her arm more out on this side, she'd probably fall over since her hip is so far out. So um, I just really paid attention with finding and making sure that I got the tension in the body this first week. And overall, I'd say that I am really happy with how I got this painting in. I think I found really good structure and it's going to be a really good base to work on for these uh, later coming weeks. And now for my cast project. No one has told me yet what this cast is called, so I'm just going to call it my Bernini cast. But if anyone knows the name of this cast or what the sculpture is from, please comment below and let me know. But I think it's going really well. I'm still in the block-in stage of the transfer drawing, trying to get the structure right and get the foreshortening to make sense. And I'm getting there. I think it's pretty close. Um, I'm excited though that I have the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, that I'm not seeing it. So then come Monday, I should have a really fresh eye and hopefully the mistakes um, or any problems in foreshortening will be really clear to me so I can make sure that I can correct those. And I can't wait uh, to have Mad Magda pass me on this transfer drawing so I can start the painting of it. And I already have the canvas made and toned. And I also have been taught to stretch and tone canvases differently at Ravenswood than what I was taught in college. And I, um, I prefer what they are teaching me here, how to stretch and prepare a canvas. And so I made a video on that if anyone's interested and that should be coming out Friday.